I'm Konstantin Sukovetsky and we have just completed a performance with Auburn Symphony at Mandavi Center. And I'm delighted because it is my fifth time playing with this symphony and a very momentous one too because we are repeating Rachmaninoff's second piano concerto which was a piece I debuted with this orchestra 11 years ago. And this piece is universally beloved everywhere in the world. Uh, why? Well, nobody knows. That's a recipe of genius. But um, it is romantic, it is glorious, it is happy, it is sad, it's uh, sensual, it's religious, it's all of the above and then some. And it's quite difficult and the climaxes are very exhilarating. But I love playing it because it also a chamber music piece. No matter how grand it seems, the orchestra and the piano play together as one. There isn't a, a moment where uh, something becomes secondary. Uh, and I think it's wonderful because it's a sense of chamber music with 80 people. So it's a bit of a musical orgy, you might say. But it is actually... Uh, very rewarding at the end and the audience loves it and of course many Hollywood movies use that music as a soundtrack to the love stories to end all times the brief encounter which I encourage everyone to watch it's black and white but it's worth it it's a great love story and the entire soundtrack is exclusively Rachmaninoff's second piano concerto come back to Auburn Symphony and listen to more symphonic music and more Rachmaninoff